Hey there, new parents. If you're watching this, chances are you've got a little bundle of joy at home and you're learning the ropes of parenting, one swaddle at a time. I'm here to guide you through mastering the art of baby swaddling, a technique that's been cherished by generations to soothe and comfort newborns. So let's dive right in. Swaddling is not just an age old practice. It's a skill that can help your baby feel secure and snug, mimicking the coziness of the womb. But the question is, how do you swaddle a baby correctly and safely? First things first, you'll need a lightweight blanket. Lay it down in a diamond shape and fold the top corner down to form a straight edge. Place your baby face up on the blanket with their head above the folded edge. Now, take the left side of the blanket and wrap it over and tuck it under your baby, ensuring it's snug but not too tight. Then, fold the bottom of the blanket up over your baby's feet. Finally, wrap the right side around, creating a cozy little baby burrito. But why is swaddling so effective? Well, it helps prevent your baby from being disturbed by their own startle reflex, which can wake them up. This can mean a better night's sleep for both you and your baby. Plus, swaddling can help keep your baby warm and comfortable without the need for extra blankets, which can be a risk for suffocation. However, it's crucial to swaddle correctly. Ensure the swaddle is loose enough around the hips to allow leg movement too tight and you risk hip dysplasia. And always remember, once your baby starts trying to roll over, it's time to stop swaddling. I hope these tips help you feel more confident about swaddling your baby. Remember, each baby is unique, so it might take a few tries to find what works best for your little one. Keep practicing, stay patient, and soon you'll be a swaddling pro. There you go. Mastering the art of baby swaddling made simple and safe. Thanks for tuning in, and here's to peaceful nights and happy, snug babies. Remember, always put your baby on the back to sleep and no stuff, animals, or things in the crib. Until next time, take care and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tips.